Welcome mathematicians to another video. Um, the topic that we're going to be dealing with today is actually dealing with division. Now I know when you hear division sometimes uh, it may be confusing uh, because division has not really been explained to you but if we think back to the video in which we learned exactly what division was um, this this is really really it should be asking us um, 856 divided by 3 really should mean 3 times what number times 3 or 3 times what number let me just rewrite this so it goes a little bit differently alright so we can say what number times 3 and you know how sometimes when we when we divide there's a remainder so plus something gives us 856 essentially what we're saying is what number times 3 gives us 856 and if there is a remainder we add it to that number we multiply by 3 okay so if that's what's being asked of us this is what we mean when we say 800, 856 divided by 3 what number times 3 plus some remainder, if there is going to be one, it could be a remainder of 0, but there's going to be some remainder, um, equals 856. So if we go into division thinking that way, then we see the relationship between multiplication and division. Um, we're now going to divide using the algorithm, the standard way that people divide. Um, and I'm actually going to go through and talk through what I'm doing and then I'm going to go and explain um, the reason why what I'm doing works. So this may work a little bit differently than the way that you would want it to. You'd probably want to learn why it works the way it works and then figure out the how. I'm going to go into the how and then um, explain to you after that why this actually works. So typically a person would say, um, we're dividing 856 by 3. The number that you are dividing by is called your divisor. That's always going to go outside here. The number that you are dividing is called your dividend. Uh, this is called your dividend. And this is going to go on the inside of the division symbol. So, okay. We would say 3 goes into 8. How many times? It goes into it two times. So 3 times 2 gives us 6. 3 times 2 gives us 6. And what do I have a remainder of? Well, 6 and what make 8? 2. So I have a remainder of 2. Then what we would do is we would pull down a 5. We'd pull down this 5. And then we would keep as the original divisor. 3 will always be our divisor. We're always going to say um, 3 times what goes into this number. So now we're going to say 3 times what goes into 25. Uh, 3 times 8 goes into 25. And if, if we notice, every time our remainder, just want to focus on this before I go on, our remainder has to be smaller than our divisor. It has to be. Because if it weren't, that means that this divisor could go into this number one more time or a few more times than it needed to. Um, so the, div the remainder, 2 always has to be less than 3. So you'll notice every time that we perform uh, the subtraction, our remainder will always be less than 3. Okay, so we say now 3 times 8 gives us 24. And we write 24 below here. And then we say 25 minus 24 is 1. Again, our remainder is 1. Our remainder is less than 3. It has to be less than, th less than the divisor. If the remainder is not less than the divisor, you can perform another, um, another time of, of multiplying that number. And then lastly, we'll pull down this 6. I could have drawn the line, but that's unnecessary. So 3 goes into 16 how many times? 5 times. See, we go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5 times. And so 3 times 5 is 15. And again, our remainder is less than the divisor. 
So we can say that 856 divided by 3 is 285 times 3 with a remainder of 1. So that's essentially what we're saying. We're saying that the answer to this problem is 285 times 3 plus one more will give you 856. Okay, now let's actually go, go through here and I'm now going to explain to you why this actually works, why the standard algorithm actually works. Okay, now here are the steps. The first step is to perform the division with remainder, the division with remainder, using the dividend, remember the dividend is going to be this number right here, using as the dividend the leftmost digit of the original dividend. So the original dividend is, is 856, the leftmost digit is 8. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be performing division with remainder on each of these digits, on the 8, on the 5, and on the 6. So I'm going to actually write that fully out right now in different colors so we can see it clearly. Okay. All right. So we have 8, 5, 6, 856. Okay, that's 856 right there, 856. Now we're saying that we're going to perform division with remainder on each of these digits. So if we're performing division with remainder on each of these digits, we're essentially saying to ourselves, some number times 3 plus a remainder is going to give us that, that digit. Some number times 3 plus a remainder is going to give us that digit. Some number times 3 plus a remainder is going to give us 5. And some number times 3 plus a remainder is going to give us 6. Okay. Essentially what we are now doing is we're going to perform division with remainder on the dividend using the leftmost digit as the, as the uh, original dividend. Okay. Of the original dividend. So I'm going to say what number times 3 gives us 8? Um, well, let's see. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 is too much. So, therefore, it is 2. Okay, so I'm going to place a 2 right here. So I'm saying 2. Uh, my pen, here we go. Okay, so I'm saying 2 times 3. Um, now, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus what gives me 8? 6 plus 2. So the remainder is 2. Okay? Now, I perform division with remainder. Okay? After, step 2 now says, after I perform division with remainder, I multiply the remainder of this previous step by 10. So the remainder is 2. If I multiply that by 10, I get 20. And then it says, and add it to the next digit to the right in the original dividend. The next digit in the original dividend is 5. So I'm going to add 20, because I multiplied the remainder by 10, and that's 20. I'm going to add the 20 now to the 5. When I add 20 to 5, I get 25. Now, I'm going to, step 3, repeat step 2. Okay? I'm going to perform division with remainder. I'm going to perform division with remainder. And then I'm going to um, multiply the remainder by 10 and then add it to the next digit. And I'm going to keep on going until I run out of digits. Okay. So what number times 3 gives me 25? Mm, 8 times 3 is 24. Um, so that's 8 right there. And now I'm at 24 plus what gives us 25? 1. And then I multiply the remainder by 10, and I get 1 times 10 is 10, and then I add that to the next digit in the original dividend. And when I add 10 to 6, I get 16. Now I perform division of the remainder again. What, num what times 3 gives me 16? Uh, 5 times 3 gives me 15, and I have a remainder of 1. 
So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. And if you actually look carefully at this, you actually can see the dividend right here in this column right here. Look carefully. This is going to blow, you, blow some of your minds. I know it is. All right, let me just highlight this so you can see this. It definitely blew my mind when I saw it. Um, it's not a trick. It's just simple math and basic understanding of the math. Right here, 285 is the is the quotient right here. This is the quotient. Right here is the quotient. And this is your remainder. Your remainder is 1. And your remainder is 1. And if you notice, all the steps throughout this entire process, we've actually gone through. And you can see that this is your quotient. This is your remainder. So we say 285, 285 times 3 plus 1 gives us 856. And so we'll fill in the missing numbers here. We'll say 200. 85, uh, I'm writing in highlighter, can't write in highlighter, I have to write in pen. There we go. Alright, so we're writing in pen now. So we say 285 times 3 plus 1 gives us 856. And if you look here, every single every single step that we performed right here is written right here in, in a smaller smaller form. We see the the uh, the 856 here, 856 there. You see our divisor of three right there. You see uh, we said two times three was six. There's the six right there. We said eight times three. Oh, and there's our remainder 2, right there. Then we said 8 times 3 was 24. There's our 24. And there's our remainder of 1, right there. And then we said 5 times 3 was 15. And our remainder 1 is right there. So, and then we also see the 20, the, we also see the 8. Right, right here and right there, the 25 right there, and the 16 right there. What we've essentially done is we have broken the, 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 the mystery key. We've broken the code um, to what division is really all about. It's really just simply performing um, a, a division with remainder on each digit, on each digit, to see... Um, what we're going to get and then multiplying that remainder by 10 and adding it to the next digit in the number that is our original dividend so we would say 3 goes into 2 uh, 3 times what gives us 8 3 times 2 uh, with a remainder of 2 and then I would multiply that 2 by 10 and I get 20 and then I now have 25 so then 3 times what number gives us 25? 3 times 8 gives us uh, 24, and the remainder is 1. I multiply that 1 by 10, and I add it to the next digit, and that's 16. And so that's why, that's why when we actually do this, we're actually writing, writing what the number is here, what the remainder is here. So 25 minus 24 is 1. And then in order to get that in the tens place, I have to multiply 1 times 10 and then add it to the 6. So that's how this, this algorithm is working.